Hello, you're watching the 11 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Samar Ajawi. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, met today with the Turkish President Rajab Tayyip Erdogan during his official visit to Turkey. The minister conveyed the greetings of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and his wishes of health and wellness to the Turkish President and people. The meeting discussed the latest developments in the region and all efforts aimed at enhancing security and stability in the region. President Erdogan requested the minister to convey his greetings to His Majesty the King and his wishes of further progress and prosperity to the Kingdom of Bahrain under the wise leadership of His Majesty, recalling His Majesty's supportive stances towards Turkey. Sheikh Khaled affirmed that the convergence of visions and stances between the two countries and all countries of the region on the regional and international issues will support joint efforts to establish security and peace on the basis of mutual respect for the principles of good neighborliness and non-interference in affairs, as well as stopping any practices that threaten stability and impede the efforts to achieve development and prosperity. And following the meeting in a joint press conference, which was held between the ministers of foreign affairs of both countries, the Turkish foreign minister Mevlet Çavuşoğlu said that the talks between the Turkish president and the foreign minister of the Kingdom of Bahrain dealt with the crisis of severing diplomatic relations with the state of Qatar, where the president affirmed that the Turkish Republic will seek a positive solution to the crisis and communicate with all parties, based on the fact that the security of the GCC state is the security of the Turkish Republic. Mr. Chavus Uglu stated that the Turkish Parliament's approval of the deployment of army forces in the state of Qatar comes within the framework of implementation of the agreement signed between the two countries in 2014 and has nothing to do with the current events, stressing that the Turkish military base in the state of Qatar contributes to the protection of security and stability of the Gulf region as a whole and is not meant to target any country at the expense of another. Sheikh Khalid expressed honor in conveying the greetings of His Majesty the King to the Turkish President, affirming that he had clarified to the President the stance towards the Qatari leadership's policy and practices against its brothers, and stressing that Qatar must change its policies and stop any practices that threaten the security of the region. The minister praised the statements made by the Turkish Foreign Minister on the role of the Turkish military base in the state of Qatar, affirming that it is not related to the current developments and is not directed against anyone and expressing appreciation for the interest of the Turkish president in the security and stability of the region and the aspiration to resolve this issue as soon as possible. The Kingdom of Bahrain has praised the statement made by the President of the United States of America, Donald Trump, on confronting Qatar's support for extremism and the immediate need to stop its funding and support for terrorism, affirming that this stance is part of the U.S.'s relentless efforts to continue combating all forms of terrorism and ensuring international solidarity on this dangerous phenomenon. The Kingdom of Bahrain stressed the necessity of Qatar's commitment to its current policies and to engage in a transparent manner in counter-terrorism efforts, therefore allowing the countries of the region to confront all terrorist entities and eliminate all those who support them and try to destabilize the countries and people of the region. The Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowment, Sheikh Khaled bin Ali Al Khalifa, affirmed that the ministry will hold accountable those who employ religion in favor of foreign organizations or states that target the sovereignty, unity and stability, whether through political societies, collecting money for religious purposes or religious speeches. The minister added that necessary legal measures will be taken against any political society that communicates with or is linked to the list of individuals and terrorist organizations associated with the state of Qatar in any way, whether through social media, political action tools, or through supporting those individuals or organizations. He affirmed that the Minister of Justice is cooperating with the Ministry of Interior to counter the crimes of raising money or accepting donations that are linked to the previously stated entities. Sheikh Khalid bin Ali stressed rejection of all forms of association with foreign organizations to interfere with internal affairs, affirming that religion and patriotism are achieved through maintaining the state's sovereignty and security and protecting its gains and progress. He underscored the importance of confronting all that conflicts with the interests of Bahrain 
which reflects the strong commitment towards countering all forms of extremism and terrorism.